We saw this often during the unrest that followed George Floyd's murder. Tear gas used to break up and control big crowds. Our helicopter flew over the fumes back in May of 2020. New tonight, those chemicals could have some troubling side effects. Some women exposed to tear gas reported changes to their reproductive health. Kirsten Mitchell talked with the expert making the connection. After exposure to tear gas during protests in the summer of 2020, some noticed changes in their menstrual cycles and reproductive health. That to me was where I really had questions because there, that usually doesn't happen. So Asha Hassan and researchers from the U of M and Planned Parenthood surveyed people across the country. Anyone who was an adult who had been exposed to tear gas during that time period and who had a uterus uh, was eligible to participate in this study. Of the more than 1,200 participants, 83% reported adverse reproductive health outcomes. The top changes were cramping and early menstrual bleeding. Those with five or more days of exposure experienced 2.6 times more negative Negative reproductive outcomes. This is really something that's exploratory and allows us to say yes, there's a relationship here between being exposed to tear gas and having these adverse reproductive health outcomes. Starting this year, Minneapolis police can only use crowd control tools such as chemical agents in specific situations after high level authorization. Chief Brian O'Hara said for many reasons, MPD has made significant recent policy changes to ensure a more thorough consideration of the well being of all involved before deploying crowd control weapons such as tear gas. The study has limitations and does not prove a cause and effect. I think it's important also to note that this is a snapshot in time. But Hassan hopes it fuels further research in an area that's lacking. This sort of um, data is really just the first step. In Minneapolis, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO News. The study found participants were exposed to chemical agents for six days on average. The longer the exposure, the more adverse effects were felt.